All right, welcome to STEM. I'm going to give you a brief overview of today's activities. Um, today we are building the Street Sweeper. It's build one, and it will be in the books that you should already have in your bins. It's build 1A and 1B. If you don't have the books, there are a few extra copies up front. Here's our creepy video. We'll watch this first. All right, so uh, today you are going to be building the street sweeper. You're going to put together a vehicle that can push things out of the way as it drives. Um, you're going to be working on a student handout today. You don't need to work on notebook paper. I have a copy of this page for everyone. Put your name here. And then the problem that we're addressing is how can you combine pushing a cart with cleaning a path? And you're going to build this sweeper using all of Book 1A and Book 1B up to Step 11. Before you move on, you should make sure that your sweeper moves easily. It shouldn't get caught or feel like anything is um, catching. It should move very smoothly. Now, this data table is a little bit complicated, but once I explain it, I hope you'll understand it. There are three different types of gear arrangements you're supposed to use. One, two, and three. And so these three gear arrangements are things that we're going to test out. We're going to test each of these with these sweeper blades, A, B, and C. So what you'll notice on the data table is they started out with gear set one with sweeper blades A, gear set two with sweeper blades A, and gear set three with sweeper blades A. The next thing you might want to try is gear set one, with two and three with sweeper blades B. Then you could try gears one, two, and three with sweeper blades C. You may not have time to test all of them, but you should test a decent amount. At the end, you're gonna build what they call a safer sweeper because what you may notice when you build those other designs, sometimes the gears might get caught or some of the sweeper blades may fly off, hopefully not. So you're gonna build a safer sweeper using um, some other instructions in your book. We're going to set up a little test track. So our garden path will be on the floor of the classroom. There'll be two pieces of wood on either side, kind of marking the edge of our path. And in the middle will be a bunch of little pom-poms and some little erasers. So you'll spread them out like they have them in the picture, and then you'll drive your car down through the middle and see how much is swept out of the way, how much is pushed aside. You'll have to take turns and replace all of the items. Please leave all of those items up on the path so other students can use them. Remember, you're going to change the gears to see what happens, and you're also going to change the sweeper blades to see what happens. In the end, you're going to set up a slightly more sophisticated system, the safer sweeper. I know a lot of you don't have the red rubber band in your bins. If you don't have a red rubber band, you can um, get one rubber band from the little white drawers in the back of the room marked rubber bands and find one as close as you can to that red one. Maybe you have to double up the rubber band to get it to fit. So that's all the work that you are working on today. Good luck and enjoy the build.